I wanted to start with a very simple question. Who in this room has ever had their hair cut? Thank you. And I wanted to start with that because I have a story of how several years ago, back before I was married, my then girlfriend looked at me and said, Will, your hair is way too long. It's a mess. You need to go get your hair cut, and it needs to be short. Make it short. You'll look a lot better. I said, sweetie, I agree. It's a mess. It's ugly. I need to go get it cut. I'll go have it cut short. So I went down to my local barber, walked in, sit, sat down. He asked me, how would you like your hair cut today? And I said, short. And he said, OK. I shut my eyes. He got out the clippers, did, his, did some work. And I opened my eyes back up, and I said, well, not that short. I didn't say, cut it all off. I didn't say, give me a scalp burn whenever I walk outside. I just wanted my hair cut short. But what I really didn't do was I really didn't collaborate and communicate with my barber to tell him what my true business need was. My business need was not to have my hair cut short. That was a solution that I gave him. My business need was I needed to look better. And at no point did we discuss collaboratively how to make me look better. I gave him a solution, and he gave me what short meant to him. We never reached a shared understanding of my business problem, and we never collaborated or reached any shared understandings of solutions to that problem. And we, without that shared understanding, you get that. But I'm pretty sure this problem is not just unique to me and my barber. I believe this problem is seen all over the place. Well, you're right about that, Will. Um, this was my core requirement for my hairdresser, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Those bangs are so 90s, it's terrible. Um, <laughs> but we've been talking about haircuts, and the same concepts apply to product development. So let's have an example. You're going to develop a product, and your customer gives you the requirements. This is a very simple example. It's a rope swing with three wooden seats, right? So you turn it over to the product team, and this is how the project leader understood your requirements. It's a little bit of a variation, maybe a miscommunication, not enough collaboration. So it gets turned over to the analyst, and this is a technical person, so they're going to make it the best solution possible and very creative, right? And it's a bit of a variation again, not as usable. Turn it over to programming, and you get something completely different and probably not even a usable product. At the end of the product delivery, what the customer really wanted wasn't even what you heard in the first place. It wasn't a rope swing with the three seats, it was a tire swing that's a completely different product. So my team's responsible for product, the development of the product, and that's the three middle um, pictures that you see here. And we believe that with tighter collaboration with you, our customers, with constant feedback, and with a shared understanding of the requirements, we'll get you that tire swing and not this unusable rope swing. ATP Co., as an industry solution provider, has always worked with the industry to identify, create, and deliver value to you, our customers. We gather your requirements and business needs, we clarify, and we seek to understand the why. Why do you have those business problems? As Sharon went into great depths earlier, why? What is important about what you're trying to solve? We then collaborate to come up with an industry or customer solution. And that's been traditionally through our working groups, through products and services, which is industry elevate on Thursday, feedback sessions, surveys, other ways that we've worked together. But in the future, as business needs are continually evolving and changing faster and more rapidly than ever, this feedback cycle has to accelerate as well. We need to apply this process of working together, working collaboratively for smaller pieces of work in order to enable innovation and improve time to market of the delivery of solutions. We need to work toward having better continuous collaboration 
Because when the customer becomes part of the team solving the problem, you get that solution and that value delivered faster and better. And I am pleased that Brian is here to share how we work collaboratively using the ATP Co data platform to deliver value to our customers. Very good, thank you. All right, again, my name is Brian McVicker. I'd like to thank you guys in advance. I'm not digging up any photos of me <laughs> from the 80s. Uh, that would have been not good. All right. But in terms of our engagement with ATPCO, uh, we had a pretty active uh, engagement. It took all sorts of forms. Uh, it was phone calls, it was WebEx, it was face-to-face. -face. Um, but uh, certainly several, well, this issue has existed for a very long time. Uh, we will talk about what that issue is. We'll talk about what their API edition was and how we verified it. We'll talk about how we integrated it and then maybe we'll mention some of the things we think this can be applied to in the future. But in essence, the business issue here is total price. And certainly they've done some work on total price, there's some graphs on total price, there's some interfaces, but this problem existed, has existed in the industry, continues to exist in the industry, and the, the issue is really about creating a uh, contextual total price. And you know, the, uh, Anybody out there ever priced a fare to get a total price? Anyone ever? Okay, I see one, thanks Ray. All right. Um, but we have people out there doing this all the time. And there's all sorts of other things that they can go to. There's services and third party places you can go. But when you think about it, uh, I look at a fare and a fare is a fare. Well, that fare has an origin destination, but I also have to have a return and also has to support the schedule. I also have to take into account today's date and what the applicable advanced purchase is, what's, what's the footnote that I have to put in with that, seasons, blackout, day, weeks, just a bunch of stuff. And just to show you an example, I took two. I took Sabre and I took ITA, somewhat random. Uh, but each of those is a transaction. So I have to go out there and I have to say, okay, I want to fly on this day, taking into account all those factors that I did before. And in the somewhat absurd possibility that I got them all right, I get an answer back. And then I say, oh, I gotta look at the return. And then I look at the return. And I do another transaction where I say, well, let's see what price that is. And finally, at the end, I get some encoded stuff that says, here's what your total price is, here's the components. So in the time that it took me to talk about all that, I've spent probably 40, 50 seconds. And for a pricing analyst who's pricing, in our case, hundreds of thousands of fares, that's a long process. That's a lot of your day going through and trying to build that context. Um, same thing with ITA. Uh, I took some of the screens out, but again, you're going like, oh, indeed. Oh, I don't get a fare for that. Oh, I, I want this return on this date. Oh, I don't get the fare for that. So you end up having to do it three or four times till you find the right answer that you want. And you can say, aha, this is the price. Oh, and then I got to do the same thing for my competitor, too, because I'm trying to create a competitive analysis. So again, that was the 40 seconds I just spent talking about it times two. You get the picture. Well, what they brought to us was an API. And this was an outgrowth of their earlier development work, uh, which consisted of, I'm going to send you a URL, essentially Googling my itinerary that I want and getting back an answer. And we use Postman, which is an application that we could use to verify the service. So this was their service we were accessing without any other application other than a, an existing freeware in Postman to say, okay, if I put in this itinerary, what's the answer get back? We built some credibility around it. We had analysts go in and test it out and say, yeah, I think that's, I think that's what we want. And we said, well, okay, and then we went to the next step. And much like you guys, you guys did a hackathon, we did a, a, a hack week where we, uh, we walked in with nothing, hoping we'd walk out with something at the end of it. And we were able to integrate it into our Mercury application. And our Mercury application, you could take a fare, one fare, two fare, five fares, whatever, and you could say, given the context of this fare, knowing everything there is to know about the fare, because we know all about it in the back end, what you see here is a price and a couple tidbits about it that describe it. But I could choose two fares and say, go do a total price on that for me. 
through their API, we were able to integrate that and they were able to deliver an answer within two seconds across seven days. So if it had a day a week, it showed up, even if it was only three days of the week that it was applicable. But that total price allowed us to go and take the context and all the mental math that we had some very, very bright analysts working on, take that mental math and put it into the, where do I wanna be from a competitive standpoint? So that simple API, that simple task that people do hundreds of times a day was now reduced down to see a thing, click a thing, read a thing. Very simple, very straightforward, highly contextual. So with that, we were able to deliver something in a short amount of time that added great value to the day-to-day -day working of a pricing analyst. Thanks, Brian. Our team really enjoyed serving your business need um, quickly for American and working with you. Working with Brian took a lot of collaboration, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the benefits of what collaboration brings. When we can work collaboratively with our customers, we come up with some innovative ideas. We have undiscovered ideas by having one-on-one -on -one conversations with our customers, understanding their pain points, understanding what their real business problem is. We get a shared understanding of what their business problem is. We also have much quicker successes. As Brian mentioned, it was a very quick process that we went through with them a few months and they were uh, good to go. So without the long product development that sometimes happens where you end up with the wrong product at the end, you don't get your tire swing, you have your rope swing, we can discover early that we had a, a success there. Conversely, we want to fail fast. And fail fast isn't necessarily a bad thing. We don't want to spend a lot of time just to find out that we didn't come up with the right solution for our customers. So if we're getting constant feedback, we're learning early that we might not have got it right this time, but we'll try again and get it right the next time. And collaboration also brings a benefit to our customers. We get early adopters for products, and that gives our customers an opportunity to give feedback to us to help shape the future of that product. All right, so going forward, we want to continue to work to share understandings with our customers and with the industry to identify your business problems and work through possible solutions to those. And that can only occur with frequent feedback and communication. We're pleased you're working with us today and we want you to continue to work with us tomorrow, next week, into the future to collaborate on all of your business challenges so that we can deliver more value to you faster and identify possible innovations that will really change the way we do business or really deliver a significant amount of value to you. As the industry is changing at such a rapid pace, both on the business and technology front, this constant collaboration, working, working with a shared understanding, can really help us fix or identify the proper final solution before it's finally completed and released and delivers value, delivers more value in that way. That innovation, that additional value, it gets us to working together as a team, where coming together is a beginning, staying together is progress, and working together is success. I love that quote from Henry Ford, and I believe we all work much better when the customer is really part of the team trying to solve the business problem, and we're in constant communication, constantly collaborating with what is the best solution to this problem. When we work together, we are innovative and deliver more value faster, whether it's for an airline industry solution or just getting an acceptable haircut. Thank you.